Getting new clients for tax lawyers is probably the most straightforward, simplest practice area where you can be getting clients. Let me explain what I mean. There's not a lot of competition. Like, really, there's not a lot of competition. And those competitors that are there, they're not very effective at getting clients. So if you hire a high-performance marketing team, chances are you're going to do incredibly well. But I find it very interesting that most, most tax attorneys don't. And so they do okay-ish. In fact, I think it was Bureau of Labor Statistics that published the data that about 90th percentile for most lawyers in 2021, income level was 209,000, while specifically for tax attorneys, it was 194,000. I think that that's just because uh, tax lawyers are not really good at marketing, not really good at getting cases. Yet again, that creates such a huge opportunity for those who do want to get more cases and make a bank on tax lawyering. Here's how you do it. Number one, obviously, do business development. Develop a referral network with your local accountants who are going to send you business because they may not be inclined to go against the IRS and do whatever it is that you do. How do you do that? Most lawyers are really introverted and do not want to do any business development or building a referral network. There's a really simple way to do it. I am not an expert at it, but I would like to. I would like you to Google my good friend, Stacy Randall Brown. She is amazing. She has a great system that's really easy to learn and implement. Just look her up. She's super. Half of your business, give or take, should be coming from referrals that you develop. It takes some time. And this is the type of marketing that you have to do yourself. Nobody else can do for you. The type of marketing that somebody else can do for you, a proficient marketing team like mine, is referred to as digital marketing. Why digital marketing? Because according to Clio's annual report, going back four years, 2019, I'm recording this in January of 2023. About 78% of all people, when they needed a lawyer, would turn to Google. People look online. Where would they find you? Where do you need to be in front of them when they're looking? It's really simple. And by the way, the two golden rules of growing your business, any type of business, service business anyway, be where and when your prospective clients are looking for what it is that you're offering. And rule number two, give them exactly what they need in order for them to give you exactly what you want. Let me explain. People go to internet to look for tax attorneys. Most of us cannot just call a friend, a business partner, or anybody else and just say, do you know a tax attorney? I'm in trouble. It's an embarrassing question to ask. And most people do not know a tax attorney. You, I would think most people do not reach out to tax attorneys more than maybe once in their lifetimes. So... Because people do not ask for referrals quite as much there, unless they're professional referrals. Again, coming from their CPAs, accountants, tax preparers, they will go to Google. Here are your five opportunities to be in front of them when they're looking. Number one, ads. There are two types of ads. Local service ads, which is where you see like a tiny picture of you and then the number of stars that you got for reviews and a link to your business profile. Underneath it, you would see regular text ads where it's a link to your website or a landing page on your website. You click on that, you end up on your website. And you consume information there. And if you like what you're reading, you can convert by either picking up the phone and calling your office or for filling out a contact us form or some sort of a request form. There's much to be said about how to execute this properly, but this video is not about that. This video is how I would go about getting more business if I was a tax attorney. So number one, local service ads. Number two, regular ads. Number three, local map pack. This is when you're searching for a service provider, you would see like a sizable map on Google page one and next to it, usually three to four listings. Fun fact, you used to not be able to advertise there. Now you can advertise there. By the way, fun fact, advertising for tax attorneys is some of the cheapest advertising on Google because again, most competitors are terrible. They suck at marketing. And because of that, cost per click is low, cost per lead is low. There's a lot of money to be made for tax attorneys. It's there for the taking. Just most don't take it. So advertise in local service ads, in regular ads, in local map pack. And then you have a couple more opportunities in the organic search results below the map pack. Your website should rank there prominently. For most markets, tax attorneys are terrible at getting their websites to rank. So you have very, very little competition that's actually capable 
because of that, if you hire a high performance team like ours, you would be ranking there in a reasonable period of time. Not overnight, usually not in one month, usually sometimes, depends. If you already have a decent website that's been there for a while, it may take a quarter or two. If it's something that's very new, it may take more quarters, but you will get there and you will be glad that you made the decision sooner rather than later because procrastination kills revenue. So do it sooner. So in the organic search results, you want to make sure that you show up there organically and in the directories like Super Lawyers, Avo, Justia, et cetera. Make sure that you have sponsored listings in those directories because if you don't, they will never find you because, well, let's face it, most of the top results are sponsored listings. So you got to make sure that you do that. Now, you may say, Sasha, you're talking about a very expensive proposition. I don't have the money and I hear you, but what's the alternative? If you don't invest into your business, who will? No one. If you don't into your, invest into your business and you say that you don't have money today, you won't have any more tomorrow or a year from now. You have to invest into your business. And I challenge you to think about it as an investment into your business, not an expense. You really have to wrap your mind around this concept. Anytime you invest into client acquisition, aka marketing and advertising, and it's done properly, it should generate a return of between one to four and one to seven. That's right. For every dollar that you put in, you should be getting between four and seven dollars back. That's why it's an investment. It's like a money printing machine. It just takes some time to dial it in for every law firm. But once it's dialed in, it really delivers. So invest in that. Secondly, you want to invest into a high performance website. Why? Because once you bring them to your website, and invariably most people will go to your website to check you out, that website must give them what they want, which is information that will comfort them that you do what they need to get done. You are good at what you do. And there's confirmation that you're good at what you do through testimonials and reviews on your website and of, on the third party platforms like Google, uh, Avo, Justia, Super Lawyers, Facebook, everywhere. People want to see those reviews or are preconditioned to look for reviews to make sure that you're actually good before picking up the phone and calling you. Do all of this and your business will be much further along a year from today. But it all should start with you getting a blueprint for client getting. That's correct, a blueprint for client getting. You can also call it a marketing plan, business development plan, whatever you call it. It's a plan that your team or your marketing team should follow in getting more business for you. My team does those plans free of charge for law firms. That's right. We'll not charge you. We'll do it for you. We're quick and efficient and we're very thorough with those plans. You're going to love having the plan and you will not have to pay for it. Once you get it, you will have a decision to make. You can hire us to implement the plan or hire any other marketing team that you really like and they will implement it for you. Don't procrastinate. Reach out to my team right now. Request the plan. You'll have it within a week. And once you review it, you'll be like, ah, I should have done this sooner. 